Welcome children to another session of our English literature class. Today we will do chapter number 6 the pod of my own. So let's start our journey of knowledge and learning. Friends, today we are going to begin our new lesson in English reader a pod of my own. The lesson is based on the advanced and developed means of transport we use today and that are future generation is going to use in the upcoming years look at this picture this picture is a clear reflection of our development in the field in the means of transport you can see easily how people started traveling look at the personal transportation earlier people traveled on foot then they used the animals for traveling and then wheel was invented they had personal bicycles motorbikes and cars afterwards if we see the public transportation it started with carts then the engine developed then the motors and the trains and buses and after that the electric train and then after the bullet trains and now we are in the new generation and the pod is next of these a pod is an automated taxi or a cab runs in london from heathrow airport to different locations there there's no driver driving the vehicle it runs on the instructions given to the system fitted in the pod it runs on its own track so there isn't issues of traffic and there is no chance of accidents let me begin our chapter now the diwali holiday was a thrilling time for nancy and me we were visiting my uncle in london i was excited because the last time we were there i wanted to ride on the london eye but couldn't because nancy was too scared this time i was sure i would not miss it let me explain you children the writer was very excited because in the diwali holiday he planned to visit his uncle in london he was thrilled because he wanted to ride on the london eye which he couldn't in the last visit because his sister nancy was too young and scared of riding it this time he was sure that he would have a fantastic time to ride on the london eye children london eye is also known as the millennium wheel a giant wheel or you can say ferris wheel situated at the banks of river thames it is specially designed for the tourists as it gives the full view of the city of london from its peak our jet landed at heathrow airport at a very convenient time 11 am since mom had been here many times before she had told her brother that we would reach his place on our own i was glad she had because i got to ride in the new mode of transport that everybody had been talking about this new transport system is the pods from what i had heard they were also called ultra prt ult stands for urban light transport and prt means personal rapid transit but to me pod sounded cuter children heathrow airport is originally called london airport or london heathrow the writer landed at the heathrow airport at 11 am which is very convenient and suitable time usually day time is the most con- convenient time as the writer's mom had been to london many times before so she already told her brother that they could manage to reach his place by their own and this made the writer very happy because 
he would get a chance to ride in the new mode of transport. Children, the other names given to the pods are urban light transport and personal rapid transit. But the writer named it pod, which sounded him interesting as it is a very fascinating name. I was curious. We headed towards the car park station with our leg luggage. The station's automatic glass doors opened up to these high-tech little vehicles. They were queuing up outside, waiting for passengers. They looked like tiny hatchback cars, but almost completely oblong in shape. I could hardly see the rubber wheels and their front windows reminded me of the adorable face of a honeybee with long black eyes. The writer was curious or eager to describe the role of this new vehicle. They moved towards the car park station with their luggage, where pots were lying to board. There were automatic glass doors that opened to the highly technological mode of conveyance. And they look like tiny hatchback. Children, hatchback means having a sloped back door, but this vehicle was oblong in shape. That means long and narrow. The wheels of the vehicle were hardly visible and its windows reminded the writer of the beautiful, attractive and adorable face of honeybee with long black eyes. People got in, pressed a button and the doors closed. The little pods were fast and made almost no noise and they were entirely computer controlled. Imagine a car without a driver. I had only read about things like that in a science magazine. Here, I was actually going to sit in one. Before boarding a pod, mom selected a destination option on a touch screen computer on the platform. After she had made her selection, the computer confirmed it. Our pod arrived very soon. And when the doors opened, I saw it was much roomier than it looked. Four people could fit in with these ease and there was plenty of space for luggage. Children, this pod had a button to close the doors. It rushed with a great speed and that too without noise. It was operated by the computer without a driver. The writer had this experience of sitting in a car without driver for the first time. Yes, he had read about it, but this was his first experience. His mom first selected the destination on a computer on the platform itself. And quickly, the computer accepted the request of destination. And the pod arrived very soon for them. The doors of the pod opened and it was like a room from inside which could accommodate four people easily and some space for the luggage to fit in. We got in and mom pushed the button to close the doors. Once inside, I felt as if we were in a tiny space shuttle. The seats were comfortable and it was very clean. Won't it get crowded when it stops to pick up other passengers? I asked. No, replied mom. It won't stop for more passengers, which is nice. We'll have some privacy. I smiled at that. To me, it meant I could talk as loudly as I wanted without mom telling me to simmer down. The speed was perfect and it was more comfortable than any bus. Now, the writer and his mother got in the pod, which was very clean. The writer's mother pushed the button 
to close the door of the pod. For the writer, it seemed like a tiny space shuttle. The writer asked his mother what would happen if it takes other passengers also. To that, his mother confirmed him not to worry as it won't stop in between to take other passengers and they can have privacy. Listening this, the writer got more excited as he could take a loud cry as whenever he wants as he wished and no fear of his mother asking him to calm down. The writer was enjoying sitting in a pod as it was more comfortable than any bus. Mum told me that pods are the most environment friendly form of transport since they are battery powered. They are also very efficient. Even with a maximum speed of 40 km per hour, they are quite fast because they don't get stuck in traffic jams. Once an ultra pod departs from its station of origin, it does not stop until it reaches its destination. In congested urban areas, this makes the ultra considerably faster than private cars and much faster than most, most buses. Mum also told me that she had read in the papers that New Delhi and Amritsar might be the first two cities in India to introduce this form of transport. Children, here the writer was told by his mother that these pods are environment friendly as they are battery operated and could run at a speed of 40 km per hour and nothing to worry about traffic jams. The best role of this pod is that they don't stop in between. Straight away they take you to your destination. It's a good option in the congested areas. The writer's mother told him that very soon this mode of transport might be started in New Delhi and Amritsar very soon. Many other pods passed by. Pods travel on elevated tracks in some places and on level ground in others. Since they are computer driven, chances of an accident are less. So, it seems that computers are going to drive cars, driverless cars and trains may happen in the future. I only wished we could buy a pod for ourselves. Who knows, maybe sometime in the future. I will. While the writer and his mother were in the pods, they saw many other pods passing by. Some were on the elevated track and some were on the level grounds. There are very less chances of accidents as they are driverless and computer operated. Not only cars, even trains may run driverless in future. The writer loved this pod so much that he wished to buy his own pod, which could be possible in the future. Alright children, now let's read the chapter, A Pod of My Own. The Diwali holiday was a thrilling time for Nancy and me. We were visiting my uncle in London. I was excited because the last time we were there, I wanted to ride on the London Eye but couldn't because Nancy was too scared. This time, I was sure I would not miss it. Our jet landed at Heathrow Airport at a very convenient time, 11 a.m. Since mom had been here many times before, she had told her brother that we would reach his place on our own. I was glad she had because I got to ride in the new mode of transport that everybody had been talking about. This new transport system is the pods. From what I had heard, they were also called Ultra PRT. ULT stands for Urban Light Transport and PRT means Personal Rapid Transit. But to me, pods sounded cuter. I was curious. We headed towards the car park station with our luggage. 
the station's automatic glass doors opened up to these high-tech little vehicles. They were queuing up outside, waiting for passengers. They looked like tiny hatchback cars, but almost completely oblong in shape. I could hardly see the rubber wheels, and their front windows reminded me of the adorable face of a honeybee with long black eyes. People got in, pressed a button, and the doors closed. The little pods were fast and made almost no noise, and they were entirely computer-controlled. Imagine a car without a driver. I had only read about things like that in a science magazine. Here, I was actually going to sit in one. Before boarding a pod, mom selected a destination option on a touchscreen computer on the platform. After she had made her selection, the computer confirmed it. Our pod arrived very soon. And when the doors opened, I saw it was much roomier than it looked. Four people could fit in with ease and there was plenty of space for luggage. We got in and mom pushed the button to close the doors. Once inside, I felt as if we were in a tiny space shuttle. The seats were comfortable and it was very clean. Won't it get crowded when it stops to pick up other passengers? I asked. No, replied mom. It won't stop for more passengers, which is nice. We'll have some privacy. I smiled at that. To me, it meant I could talk as loudly as I wanted without mom telling me to simmer down. The speed was perfect and it was more comfortable than any bus. Mom told me that pods are the most environment-friendly form of transport since they are battery-powered. They are also very efficient, even with a maximum speed of 40 km per hour. They are quite fast because they don't get stuck in traffic jams. Once an ultra pod departs from its station of origin, it does not stop until it reaches its destination. In congested urban areas, this marks the ultra considerably faster than private cars and much faster than most buses. Mum also told me that she had read the, in the papers that New Delhi and Amritsar might be the first two cities in India to introduce this form of transport. Many other pods passed by. Pods travel on elevated tracks in some places and on level grounds in others. Since they are computer-driven, chances of an accident are less. So it seems that computers are going to drive cars, driverless cars and trains may happen in the future. I only wished we could buy a pod for ourselves. Who knows, maybe sometime in the future, I will. So children, that's all for today's session. Hope you have understood the chapter. 